doing? Okay. Hey. Nananwe, me da wasi, oh, me da wasi. Nananwe, 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 me da wasi. Yeah. Yeah. Nananum. Nananum. Yeah. Nananum. Yeah. E. They have destroyed this realm. When you have been told in this realm that you can do what you want, you can leave the ancestral uh, 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 mandate of the supreme bees alone. And they told you it's an it's a old religion. They want you to detach yourself from the laws of the cosmos. And they want you to live your life by your life, by yourselves. Do whatever you want. Be free from the, the, the loss of the cosmos. And they tell you spiritually grow by yourself. Don't have any attachment. Don't do any uh, rituals. Don't do all these things. They are removing you from the mandate of the supreme beings that have been of old. Before millions of years on earth. And they tell you to hustle. Hustle, make money. They tell you to lie, cheat, and go and say sorry. They tell you to do everything you can. And then go and confess. These things, they tell you to drink. They tell you to smoke. They tell you to do everything to your body. They tell you to sexually be active. And do all sort of sexually perverse things to yourself. Including masturbating, pornography and all these things. All these things and pleasure. Wherever you go there is sex. Wherever you go there is free sex. Free porn. All these things is to lower you. To self-destruct. To detach yourself from the nyamewa nyamenshishe. The mandate of the supreme beings. By your own hands. You detaching your soul. So you are walking. No wonder our community is in shambles. Because majority of our community have detached themselves from the supreme beings by themselves. With the laws in this realm. Do whatever you want. When you want. How you want it. And it's your life. My dear. It's not what it is. You doing all those things. You detach yourself from the supreme beings because you know what we are all under all animals and all creations are under a, a what a cosmic uh, law and when you do whatever you like whenever you like how you like it as these people have created this realm to be a chaotic realm you detach yourself from the supreme beings and the laws of the cosmos and when you do that, you detach yourself from the cosmos and you detach yourself from your own soul. So your soul have detached. And, and, and with Christianity and fake religion, your soul is detached. How do you get, gain your soul back? How? You have to go into a shrine. You have to do it manually. And you have to realign your spiritual self. You have to do what is right, when it's right, how it's right, and bring yourself to alignment. Then you can reattach yourself with a, a what? With a, 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 a shrine. You have a ritual. You a ritual. A how many people will do this to reattach themselves back? Look at the way they have done this realm. Everything in this realm is to make you fall. People don't even know that they are disconnecting themselves from the supreme beings by the way they have mandated this realm. Whatever you are doing wrong here, you think it's okay. It's destroying you from the supreme beings. My brothers and sisters, this is dangerous. This is super dangerous. My dear, now my daughter is going to read for us to see. Read, ma. Okay, so Sankofa, if you forget and you return, go and grasp, grasp 
from the ancestral past. It is not taboo. When we engage in disorder, we make ourselves repulsive to nyame wa nyame. When we, yeah, when we engage in disorder means when we cheat, when we lie, when we do all the things that they want you to do in this realm to get ahead, compete with each other, hate each other, do everything as a fake religion, all these things, you become disorder against your own soul. And when that happened, you detached from your soul. Go on. Nyame wa nyame, the obosom, the nananom on smafo, which is supposed to be the honored ancestors and ancestries, and asamando, the ancestral realm, and our okra okra, which is basically your soul. If we continue to dwell in disorder, the okra okra is repelled, similar to the repulsion of two magnets being placed together on a table with the same polarities facing one another. Until we reverse the polarities, the magnets will automatically repel. Until we reject disorder and realign with order, the okra okra is repulsed and repelled. In this condition, we can manifest temporary odam, which is psychosis. So the whole black community is under madness. Odam, Odam psychosis means madness. The black community are shooting themselves, killing themselves, making all sort of perverted behavior. My children, it is not just, just because they are doing it, but because their soul is attached, detached from themselves they don't know what is reality they don't know what is the uh, uh, order any longer so now they subject themselves in killing themselves and hurting themselves hey this is what they can do to a human being this is the demons we have been praying for look at this realm everything in this realm is to make you fall hey nananum yadamasi yadamasi uh, conclude the sentence so that I could pause. Indeed, psychosis is properly defined fundam- fundamentally as disalignment from the okra okra. If, it, yeah, go on. If one continues to dwell in disordered thoughts, intentions, and actions with deliberate effort, which means you're doing it on purpose, the okra will detach from the individual. In a Khan culture, it is said in such a instance, Nikra Egwane. Nikra Egwane. Nikra Egwane. means your soul is run away from you. Hey, look at the black community. They are not in touch with reality. Yay! Yay! Nananu me! Nananu me damasio! Nananu now I know! That what they are doing, they don't even know what they are doing to themselves. That's because they have re detached from their soul to the supreme beings. Okay, let me pause here. We're gonna continue. Hey.